Sri Lankan economic crisis Sri Lankan economic crisis is a serious issue that the world looks with great importance. It's a result of the policies adopted by Rajapaksi family. They borrowed lump sum amount of money from China and initiated the developmental activities, trusting China. They thought they can repay the amount using the money from tourism sector. Because of COVID, tourism sector of Sri Lanka shown steady income decline, after COVID and hence they were unable to pay huge interests to nations and IMF, from they took loan. This was efficiently utilized by China and they owned one of the key ports in Sri Lanka called Hambanthota for long time till they repay loans. The people are facing harsh realities of price hike and hence they started protesting against Lankan government and as a result damage to public property and civilian death happened. Still the problem left unsolved. Chinese policy of economic dominance and owning ports of various nations is continuing and Sri Lanka won't soon come out from the iron fist of China. India announced her support to citizens of Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka can only come out from this only with the support of IMF and economic support from numerous stable nations. The use of organic fertilizers and pesticides also contributed to the price hike. Ordinary people depended on agriculture has got low productive output because of acid rain and lack of chemical fertilizers. Sri Lanka was once a colony of Britain and the inhabitants there Tamilians and Singlas, was actually brought there to look after the plantations from India and they finally became the permanent residents. Let's pray for Lanka, not to become spiritually, mentally become colonialists or slaves to China. In a way, the people's uprising is saving Sri Lanka and it resulted in the resigning of PM Mahinda Rajapaksh and a top official Susadid.